It's Nancy with She's Got Yarn. How's everybody doing this evening? I'm sorry, this video, well, it's actually, it's afternoon. Um, this video is a little late. I fell asleep last night, actually at a decent time. And I've been crocheting all day, so I'm just now getting to a video. Um, I want to share with you my progress on the country it's like farm afghan is the pattern by mj off the hook i'll try to link that i'll link her channel at least but if i can find the video it's it's actually not the exact pattern it is i it's similar to her pattern i'm not sure how many rows she does it's the same concept Okay, I carry yarn with me. See, I carry the yarn with me. And somebody said, can you see it? Yeah, you can, but that's okay. It's got purple. I think it looks fine. If I was to do it again, I think I would have used the gray on top of the purple also. I would have worked it in, worked it up a little differently. But I've, I've gotten about this much done in the past few days probably from here to here. Um, I haven't worked a lot. I haven't worked on it a whole lot. I've been doing other things like making monsters. <laughs> and just to remind you guys, the yarn that I'm using is a bulky five. It's a Serenity number five. It's 100% acrylic and it's a premier yarn. Now, I don't know if you can get this color anymore. This came in large, in like the big skein, so I'm not sure if they still have this color. I know they still make a bunch of different colors, but I'm not sure. I have a different purple in my stash. I know that, but I don't think I have another color like this. I think I do not have another color like this because I think I looked up if I was to run out, would I be able to? use the same color and that was a big no i don't know why they do that <laughs> you would think all the yarn that i have that i would have enough but i have one other skein i mean i should have enough because i mean look i still have that much to go and i just untangled this purple this before i turned on the camera and it's already tangled it's weird how yarns love to marry one another. I mean, just sitting there, it seems like. <sighs> how annoying. Okay. Okay. All right. And then the white. I got the white. It's only wrapped once around the gray. No, twice. And then... The gray is in the bottom of the bucket. <laughs> but the gray, I'm using Brava. It's a, it's a bulky five. It's a little smaller than the Serenity, but that's okay. I mean, I'm wor I've been working with it, so that's fine. I didn't have this, this color in Serenity. I just thought that color was beautiful. So, and I had to order more. So, and then for the birthday party, you guys know I made a monster and I had a lot of fun making Nini's Little Monster. The pattern's by Yarn Over Hook Crochet, Anita. And uh, you could probably um, find the link to that monster pattern. I'm not, I don't think she did a, a tutorial on it. So, all right, the next thing I've been doing is I'm making scrunchies. I have all this yarn and I was watching a channel. It's Passionate by Kelsey. She's probably in her 20s. She's adorable, but she makes, she, um, she's a big channel and, um, she makes a lot of like, um, halter tops and I mean, they keep her, her itsy or her, I think it's, 
she shop she doesn't just have an Etsy she has another another type of store I, I can't remember what it's called a lot of youtubers have another type of shop but anyways it's on our channel um, she sells quite a bit of those tops and she sells a lot of scrunchies and headbands she sells all kinds of stuff wearables anyways she inspired me to make headbands with this yarn for my granddaughter and how many head scrunchies could she wear <laughs> but you know I taught the girls how to work with this but I figured I'd give these to Kirkland she can give them to her girlfriend so my hook is stuck in it there so I made a bunch of blue um, it's called regal blue I've got five blue so I have been busy you can make them fluffy or not so fluffy um, this is a treble treble stitch this is a I think a double yeah and this one's a double without um, a lot of times you start out with single crochet around the rubber band first and then you do whatever stitch you're gonna do I didn't do a single crochet around it. it's just the double crochet yeah see this one's kind of flat so I've got one two three four five of the regal blue to send home with Kirkland and this one was the first one I made and I still have not sewn in the end I need to leave that out so I've got three of the um, there's another one around here somewhere it's like a pink I used all the yarn so I don't know what the color is yeah I, I'm not sure what the color is but then I also made a couple I, I did a small pink and then I did the the it's a treble stitch out of juicy couture you could use any velvet yarn but um uh, passionate passion the word passion and then knit is k-n-i-t with Chelsea or Kelsey she has a tutorial on this so and it's a real easy tutorial and she's really good at teaching but anyways I got all these scrunchies for my granddaughter I'm gonna send them home in a knit box crochet and knit box but yeah that's all the um I think finished objects well that's the only finished objects besides the monsters you guys saw in my last video and then that's the only whip I've been working on um yeah i have oh you know what else i was working on is it here hang on okay it was right at my feet under the blanket this is an entire i just pulled out a little bit of it but this is an entire scheme of the red heart i mean premier just yarn ombre that is an entire scheme so I'm going to get the other blue and try to finish this blanket. I need to measure it. I don't have, I have a tape measure near me. I just got to dig for it. So, but that's the other, that's one other whip that I'm using. And I haven't worked on the granny square, all in one granny square the blue cardigan it's going to be beautiful i really think that that blue is beautiful i love it and i'm going to the contrast color i'm going to use is gray a light gray and i think it's going to be beautiful but that's all i've really been working on <sighs> what we're only into monday <laughs> and i've been working on these well the the scrunchies i worked on what was it saturday no friday night Saturday, you know, a little bit here and there. No, it was after the party. No, it was before the party. I made one because I took one to Kirkland's birthday. So, yeah, I started it before the birthday party on Saturday. And I got some yarn in. I, um, I'm not sure. I guess I could share with you this. I could share with you my yarn. I was going to make another video, but you know what? I've got... I know I've got more yarn coming in. I don't know when, 
but I have been ordering, yeah, more than I usually do. Um, taking advantage of some of these sales, other channels inspiring me. Let's see. Oh! Look what I ordered. I ordered some ice, ice yarn. Yay! This looks dirty, but it, it's it's not dirty. It's underneath. The dirt's under the tape. That's weird. My husband wiped it off. So, you guys want to see this? Uh, okay. Give you something to watch. Because I really need to bag up yarn, huh? But my bags haven't come in. I forgot about that. I bought a bunch of bulky stuff. So a lot of these yarns you probably won't like. <laughs> if you like thin yarn. I just wanted to see what... what. It's hard to tell what you're buying when you shop online, you know? Because you can't feel it. I just hope it feels good. But if it doesn't, that's okay. You can always put it in a mystery box. I did print out what I paid for this yarn, though, so that when I unboxed it, okay, I'm sorry, guys, I'm moving slow, <laughs> all right, you know what, I ordered some yarn that I already have, dang it. I didn't know I, I, I have this yarn. Mm, that's okay. It's all good. Yeah. Yep, I think I already have these yarns. All right, hold on. Hey, everyone, I'm back. And hopefully I can uh, give you guys all the information on this yarn. I'm going to kind of start over. All right. The Alpine Wool Colors. Again, they're 30% wool, 75% or seventy percent acrylic. They're a number six bulky, 75 meters. So they're probably 100 yards each. I got four of them. And the number is 77927. There you go. So this is. The Alpine wool color, it's a number six, 50%, no, 30% wool, 70% acrylic, 75 meters, about 100 yards. I mean, if I did that, it would, so two items are $6.99. So one pack is $6.99. I got two packs. They charged me. Get a pen. So I want to write the prices down on here. So six ninety nine. So they're all right. Six nine a pack. Seven. So they're three fifty, right? Three fifty each. Okay. That's these. All right. That's not a bad price. And then I got two more, or two more packs, and that pack is 77928. The specs are the same. It's a number six bulky. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. It's not what I expected, but I'll figure something out. You know, definitely figure something out. But, um, but if you look at the colors, how they show the colors, how bright they are. You see, whoops. See how bright that is? Does that look as bright? No, these are pastels. That does not appear pastel to me. Now the 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 blue and the green is pretty close. It's pretty close. So anyway, so I'm a little disappointed. So I got four more of these at three fifty each. That's each skein, and it's $6.99 for a pack of two. 
All right. And then I got Splash. Now, let me pull this number up. It is 80453. Okay, fat thumbs, 80453. I hate, that's why I hate texting. I can't, this finger's too fat for the little tiny keyboard. These are $6.99 for two packs. So for each item is $349. Each $6.99. Rounded off $350 each. Okay. Anyways, this is identical to Sweet Rolls by Premier. And I have this color somewhere in my stash. It's in my yarn room, and I think it's way up top, and I don't think I can reach it, so. But anyways, and we got four of them. But I'll use it, it's very pretty. Actually, I think I have some in on a hook right now. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. All right, I gotta take one of these out. I found what I was looking for. I actually cast it on knitting needles. I don't know what I was making. I'm gonna have to frog that. Something obviously was more important to do. Can you tell them apart? They feel the same. I want to say the sweet roll might be, just might be, a little thinner. And I'll let you guys decide that. I'm sorry. The blue to me looks a little bit thicker. And that is the ice yarn. This is 225 meters. This is 224 meters. Look at the difference. This cake looks a lot bigger than this cake. I don't have a scale. I have a scale, but I don't know how to work it. Well, it's not there anymore. It was right there. Uh -huh. I probably got rid of it. Excuse that hot mess back there. <laughs> it is terrible. Look at all the vitamins they got me on. <laughs> anyways, let's get back to... So anyways, now that we've realized that Premier Sweet Roll could possibly come from Ice Yarns. Let's see where it says it's made. Oh, I know it's made in Turkey because all Premier is made in Turkey. Um, according to Jennifer over at Cinnamon Stitches. Yep, this is made in Turkey, and of course we know this is made in Turkey. So, all right, so we, we've got that clear. I need to measure these bags because I want to order some bags like this. Because I like how they, they fit the cake. Maybe give it a little more wiggle room, but I really like how they fit. So. All right, now the number on this is 80453. And again, we paid so three forty nine each. So, okay, and I got four of them, and I've lost my pen. There's my pen, and I got four of them. 
So that's 349. So th I'm going to round it off to 350 each. Each. All right. And then the mosaic. This is my favorite out of the whole order. Okay. Let's see. 80406. Eight oh four. What did I say? Four zero six four zero. Okay. Come on. Let's see. Showing you how slow my internet is. It's not even thinking, is it? Okay, now it's thinking. See that blue line? <laughs> My internet is terrible, y'all. Sometimes it's a little better if you plug your phone in. Don't ask me why that is. Here he comes. Da, 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 da. I have one bar. <sighs> Y'all, this is so annoying. Oh, there, it pulled up finally. Okay. It is $3.99. Two pack is what does that say? A two pack is seven ninety nine. All right, I got a two pack, so that's four dollars each. Round it off, and it's seven ninety nine. Okay, and I got two of them, but look at the colors they have. They have some beautiful colors, and they're out of them. They're out of all these gorgeous colors. Look at all those colors. I got that one right there. And, um, but... Get notified. Well, they've got that yellow and gray. Um... They've got a salmon there. Ooh, mosaic salmon, the one below. Oh, let's see. So, okay, all the ones down the middle here, you need to get notified. And then, that green is just like Premier. You know what? I have this color right here in my yarn room. Hold on. Let's do a comparison. It's the same yarn. And I paid almost $7 for that. It's $3.99 each. Isn't that crazy? Four dollars each. Anyways, all right, so let's go to the next one. So, I'm gonna give you the prices. What's, do I have an empty cubby? Of course not. That would be too easy. But I got a partial empty cubby. So give me some room up here. So, all right, this one is 80288. I'm sorry, my computer's so slow. And of course, something opened up I don't need open. 80288. 80288. Oh, it came up. 
And now Facebook's coming up. I didn't ask for Facebook. All right, here we go. The, um, this Bella Mohair. See how it looks on the internet? It doesn't look as fine as it is. It's so deceiving. And then it says it's a number four. It says it's a worsted. So you think it's got some substance to it. But it's real fine. It's 85 acrylic, 15 polyester, and 15 mohair. 5 acrylic, 15 mohair, and does it make sense? 15 mohair, 65 acrylic, 5 polyamide, and 15 polyester. It's a number 5. Recommended hook is a US 8, 5 millimeter. The color's lilac, orange, yellow, mint, green. And it's 360 yards per ball. And I paid $8.99 for two of them. So it's $4.50 a ball. Wait, where is it? $4.50, $8.99. Okay. And I only got two. I don't know why I wrote four. Four, two. Okay. All right, there you go. And the number again is 80288. And I could hold it together with this. That's how fine it is. And it would make this very pretty. I still might do it and knit something. I'm not sure. Okay, what's next? Next is Alpine Alpaca. Yeah, that's this. And I'm going to pull it up. 30825. And I paid eight, $9 for two packs. So $4.50 each. All right. And I got four packs, or four skeins, four skeins. My husband came in here, he goes, what did you get? He's never asked me that before. <laughs> He's curious. And um, he watches my channel. I never thought he watched my channel, but he did one night anyways. I guess he needs to check out his investment, right? Because <laughs> I spent a lot of his money on this channel. All right. Uh, or it's ours. I don't know why I said that. Seven, four, three. Let's see. Seven, four, three, seven, nine. I want to go ahead and search this. This is that sale winner accru. And I, and I pulled it out. I'll pull it out again. And it, it actually feels pretty nice, but it is wool. It's viscous, 50 viscous, and 50 accrue. I mean, wool. <laughs> and it came up. And I paid $2.99 for four of them. So... What? What would that be? Less than two dollars. What is it? So three. All right. So let's say it's what? I'm not pulling out of there. Anyways, it's a little over a dollar each. So that's not bad. And I got two packs. So, let's say it's $3 a pack. I paid $3 a pack. So, so that'd be two feet, no, one twenty-five each. There, I can't do math in my head, so I'm sorry, guys. So, it's two ninety-nine. 
a pack. So I paid six bucks for two, four, six, eight, for eight of them. Wow. Okay. So, and oh, I need to give you the specs on this. This is 50% wool, 50% acrylic, 60 yards in each ball. And it's a closeout yarn. But it feels nice. This, this feels nice. And it reminds me of a yarn that I got at, at um, Hobby Lobby. I can't think of the name of it. It's very similar. Very similar, except this has got wool in it. I don't think the other one had wool. And then again, that Premier, that I wanted to compare that. What did I do with it? You know, like that squirrel. <laughs> I went and looked for yarn to compare it with this. <laughs> and I really didn't compare it, did I? Okay, this has 300 meters. I want to put it in here because it gives you the yardage, exact yardage. Hold on. I'm sorry, guys. Easily distracted. You should be used to that by now. I was showing you all the other colors and what was available. I got distracted. Did not tell you. It is 100% acrylic. Uh, recommended hook is a five or six millimeter. Um, there is 328 yards per ball. So this is 300. So if you can remember that 28, 328 yards is 300 meters. So you can get an idea in the future of something you want to guesstimate. It's a number four medium. And They actually feel the same. I said this was softer. Maybe a little bit, but this, no, because if you feel this right here and this, it feels the same. It feels the same. Yep. All right. Now, let's see what this has in it. This is got 328. This is identical. The weight is identical. It's 300 meters. It's a number five. This says it's a number four. Isn't that interesting? I've always thought that Premier Puzzle was a thin five, but Ice Yarns considers it a number four. Maybe because they want to be a little different. I don't know, but this is the same yarn. Sorry, but it is. It's identical, but I didn't have this color. I have a lot of these colors though. Um, I've got, I mean, you guys look at all those colors. I've got that color, that color. I got in Georgia, I have that color. I have that color. I've, I don't think I have that color. I've always looked at it. I've been eyeballing it. Where's the green? I got the green, I got that. And I got a lot of the reds. There's a couple reds I have. And I got a black, like a black and gray. I got three colors in Georgia. One of them was that. Wait, there's the black right there. There it is. And then I got another color I can't remember. And then somebody sent me something similar. It's a premier, oh, Angela. She sent me something like that, but it's it was called something else, but that's it's identical. And that one's you got to notify them. I need to be notified of all of them. Why would you ask me for my full name? I'm logged into my account, making a mistake because I want to know when that comes back in. And it's going to take a little while. Okay. So, but that is my yarn haul. And let's figure out what I spent. So we got 28 divided by 137.83. Now, I, I bought $82.88 in yarn. Shipping, and then shipping was $54.95. So it used to be like half 
of what you spent. So it's gone down a little bit. Interesting. So 137.83 divided by 28. So I averaged $4.90 a ball. But I bought some expensive yarn. I bought wool. Wool is expensive. So that's not bad. $5 a skein. It's not bad. Not bad at all. I mean, I'd pay $5 for that. I don't think I'd... Well, I don't know. The cakes, it's because they're old. But if they ever something new, I would pay $5. I mean, if you look at Premier's site. And then the, um, the Bella Mohair. I mean, $5. That's cheap. It's not what I expected, but that's okay. But So that is my ice yarn haul and i hope you enjoyed it enjoyed the madness <laughs> oh maybe i've got a premiere haul can't remember what all i ordered but hopefully that will be a little more organized than this haul so yeah i'm discombobulated because my room's a hot mess all right guys i hope you have a wonderful day i love y'all